let us first talk about uh, the problem itself. What is it that we are trying to solve here and where did the deed actually arise from in the first place? Now, you see sitting for long hours leads to weakening and wasting away a large leg muscle. Hips and back won't support you well enough. Basically, they get weak. Sitting causes hip flexor muscles to shorten and can lead to problems in the hip joints as well. There are reports now which talk about cancer emerging studies suggesting prolonged sitting may increase chances of developing some types of cancer. Increased risk of heart disease as well is being talked about. Increased insulin resistance in the body as well, basically leading to diabetes if you sit for too long. Increased risk of uh, varicose veins, which are basically means there are faulty valves within your veins that allow blood to pool as well. That can misfunction if you're sitting for too long. And basically, sitting for long hours can cause stiff neck, shoulders, we've all had it. And while all this is being talked about, mind it, this is not just some takeaways that people have talked about. This is well-established data that has come in in the government of Victoria, Australia, in the Mayo Clinic UK as well, where they have documented all of this. So, well, that's the problem really and one that has been much talked about. What is the solution? Well, it is quite simple that we are talking about, quite ingenious as many say as well. It is simply standing desks. If you are new to them, let's tell you what they are really. Well, a standing desk, also known as a stand-up desk, is basically standing and working for the entire time that you dedicated to your work. This is a desk that allows you to stand up comfortably while working as well, sit down as well and give you that flexibility. Your height adjustable desk, etc. are also now in vogue and the height can be adjusted so that you take breaks from work, sit up when required or feeling tired and stand up when wanting to shake yourself up as well. But standing is not as easy as it sounds. Trust me, I've been standing and working for over six months now. And if not done properly, can leave you with more aches than help. So we have for you a standing desk guide. Follow these instructions and you should not be going wrong. The first thing if you see in that image very clearly is that the monitor should be at arm's length away. That is the first thing that you start by. That gives you the point of your standing versus the computer. Second thing then to note is that the top of the computer, the monitor that you work on, should be at your eye level. You're not looking up, not looking down, but it should be exactly at your eye level. Your upper arms then should be close to your body. You shouldn't be going on or trying to reach on to the computer or your mouse pad or your keypad. It should all be just right there as you stand and available to you over there. And then the all important thing, your head, neck, torso and your legs. You have to be mindful of the fact that they are all in one line. But how will standing and working actually help? What are the benefits here? Well, the FII team went through dozens of research papers to bring you this analysis. Now, a lot of papers have talked about how humans are built to stand upright. The heart, the, uh, the cardiovascular system also works more effectively that way. Your bowel functions are more effective when one is upright and a better posture, better spine as well has been seen in people who stand and work. Your weight movement helps your uh, digestion as well, of your digestion of your fats, your sugars as well, reduce risk of obesity and lowers long-term mortality, believe it or not, as many research papers have said. It also leads to increased energy levels and better mood. Well, I can vouch for that. And also, standing while working boosts productivity. Well, all this is what research papers have actually talked about it. But as I tell you all the benefits, do remember, when we talk about a standing desk, there are some riders also. To start with, standing and working does not mean that you're standing indefinitely. Or if you have like an eight-hour eight work schedule, you are committed to standing all and throughout those eight hours. That is not to be done. Lower back and leg pain can happen if you're endlessly standing and working. Cardiovascular problems can actually happen. It can lead to fatigue, discomfort, muscle pain, leg swelling, sore feet. So if you're experiencing this, that means you're not doing it, right? So please take a pause from it, consult your physiotherapist, talk to your doctor and do some proper research before you actually get on board with that as well. 
So ultimately, the point is that you have to strike a balance somewhere, right? You have to strike a balance between not just sitting all the time, not just standing all the time, but taking a break when your legs feel tired and also then coming back up and trying to get into the right posture again.